Welcome to Stability Before Strength, my name is Oscar and I'll be your host. For previous videos, you can check out the channel. Hey there, thanks for joining me. Welcome to our series on human muscle anatomy and today we're going to continue with our series on the muscles of the lower leg. And today I'm going to go over the extensor digitorium longus. Now the extensor digitorium longus is also part of a group of muscles called the extrinsic muscles of the lower leg and it is one of the 12 muscles of the lower leg and it's located in the anterior compartment. Now these muscles are, these 12 extrinsic muscles are divided into four compartments. The anterior compartment which houses the extensor digitorium longus and you also have the lateral compartment which consists of two muscles, the peroneus longus and the peroneus brevis. Now, quick question. What in what compartment is the extension digitarium longus found? The anterior compartment. Good. Okay, so we also have the superficial posterior compartment, which houses three muscles, and that's the gastrocnemius, the soleus, and the plantaris. And we also, the last one is the deep posterior compartment, which houses three muscles, and that's the tibialis posterior, the flexor digitorium longus, and the flexor hallucis longus. Now, what are the other three muscles in the anterior compartment? Well, it's gonna go, we're going to go with them. The other muscles in the anterior compartment are the tibialis anterior, the extensor hallucis longus, and the peroneal tertius. Now, what are the other three muscles of the anterior compartment besides the extensor digitorum longus? The tibialis anterior, the extensor hallucis longus, and the peroneal tertius. Now, where in your body is the extensor digitorum longus found? Well, the extensor digitorum longus is, is actually in the front part of your shin, and you can locate it because it's actually right adjacent, right next to the anterior tibialis. So if you go back over here, you can probably see the extensor digitorium longus travel all the way across. And we're going to go over the origin and insertions of the extensor digitorium longus. Now, it originates in the lateral condyle of the tibia, so lateral more back over here. And you can see that muscle actually back over here, and the shaft of the fibula head, which is probably back over here, and also the proximal three fourths of the interosseal membrane, so all along this side of the tibia. Now that's the origin. Now what's the origin of the extensor digitorium longus? The lateral condyle of the tibia, the shaft of the fibula, which is back over here, and the proximal interosseal, three-fourths of the interosseal memory. Now, we're going to go over the insertion points. Now, the insert it inserts into back over here. So it travels all the way back over here. It inserts into the middle phalanges of the second and fifth digits of your foot in the dorsal side, but also in the distal phalanges. So, if it originates here and it inserts here, what's the primary reaction going to be? But before we get to the primary reaction, what is the insertion of the digitorium, extensor digitorium longus? Remember these ones, the middle and distal phalanges of digits 2 to 5. So dorsal side, middle and distal phalanges of dorsal side. Now the primary action of the extensor digitorium longus is it extends the toes, but only digits two to five. So you can kind of see how the tendons run all along through here. So I kind of drew it back for me, for you guys. But also dorsiflexes the ankle, but dorsiflexion also happens in the tibialis anterior, which is that muscle back over here, is right next to the extensor digitorium longus. Now the extensor digitorium longus also everts the ankle joint, so it points it out and now you can really see the extensor digitorium longus because we just took away the tibialis anterior so it goes all the way back over here and you can see it in your body along the tendons of the digitorium longus 
from its origin to insertion and that's pretty much the, pr uh, the primary action of the extensor digitorium longus is extending the NP joints and the IP digits of 2 to 5 so it also dorsiflexes and everts so it only assists just remember the primary action extends the toes of 2 to 5 now that we know the actions let's go over the muscles that assist the extensor digitorium longus synergies include the tibialis anterior dorsiflexion extensor digitorium brevis and extensor hallucis longus extension of the toes i did not include the muscles that assist an eversion of the foot since it's not the main purpose now what are the other synergic muscles that assist the extensor digitorium longus the tibialis anterior extensor digitorium brevis and extensor hallucis longus now let's find out what are the muscles that go against the movements of the muscles the antagonist muscles include the flexor digitorium longus and the flexor digitorium brevis. So pretty easy. The opposite, flexor digitorium longus and brevis. Now, can you name the antagonist muscles of the extensor digitorium longus? The flexor digitorium longus and flexor digitorium brevis. The nerve that innervates the muscle is the deep peroneal or fibular nerve. The artery of the extensor digitorium longus is the anterior tibial artery. Now, can you name the nerve that innervates the extensor digitorium longus? The deep fibular or peroneal nerve. And what is the artery that brings blood to the extensor digitorium longus? The anterior tibial artery. So now that we know what the extensor digitorium longus does, what's an exercise that we can do to target that muscle? Well, sitting extension of the toes dorsiflexion and everting the foot. Now you can do this exercise sitting down. So first we extend the toes, then dorsiflex the foot, and finally evert our foot out. Now you can repeat this 15-20 times to increase the strength of the muscle. Although for people who tend to pronate, might not might want to skip the eversion part of the foot. And you can think of the extensor digitorium longus as the toe muscle to help you recall the information we learned. Now, what is the stretch that we can perform to help stretch out the extensor digitorium longus? Now, you want to think of all the movements, actions that the extensor digitorium longus does, and now we just do the opposite. So, sitting down in a chair, you want to curl and drop your toes into the ground, invert your foot, and gently apply pressure until you feel a stretch. You want to hold for 15 30 seconds and repeat three to four times a day to help stretch out the extensor digitorium longus. Okay, let's quickly go over the material we learned today. Where is the muscle located? And the anterior compartment. What are the other three muscles of the anterior compartment? The TVL is anterior, extensor hallucis longus, and peroneal or fibular tertius. And where does it originate? The lateral condyle of the tibia, the shaft of the fibula head, and also the interosseal membrane, proximal three fourths. And where does it insert? In the middle and distal phalanges of digits 2 to 5, dorsal side. And where are the actions of the muscles? The primary action is extend the toes, digits 2 to 5, MP and IP joints, but also dorsiflex and everts the ankle joint. Now name the main synergy muscles. The TVLS anterior, extensor digitorium brevis, and extensor hallucis longus. Name the anterior the main antagonist muscles, the flexor digitorium longus and flexor digitorium brevis. Now, what is the nerve that innervates the muscle? The deep peroneal fibular nerve. What is the artery that provides blood to the muscle? The anterior tibial artery. You can remember the extensor digitorium longus as the toe muscle. So, that will help you recall all that information we learned, and I think you guys got it. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to join me next time as we continue our series on the muscle anatomy of the lower leg. Have a great day.